Yeah, you know, my energy's dropping down a little bit, my, um, physically. Not because of age, I think because of the hepatitis. Are you taking any medicines now? No. 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 But I have to admit, this one's a little concerning. Yeah. And, and I don't know what to do, you know. I mean, it seems to be getting worse. Maybe a platelet dysfunction. Okay. Which again, you can sometimes see in liver disease, your platelets are normal, but they're getting low, a little bit lower than they were. Mm -hmm. Now, if you didn't have liver disease, normal is normal, and we wouldn't say anything about okay. it. Okay, all right. Um, but um, if it's a trend, then this may be, you know, this may be an indication that the um, disease has progressed a little bit. In a routine physical, when I first got back to New York in, 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 in 86, 85, in 86, I had to see a doctor, and he says, well, let's draw some blood. You have some problems. And it came up in a blood test. And he says, I have the antibodies, and I am positive for hep C. I think most people who contracted it, other than transfusion people, are those who contracted it through drug use. I'm very thankful I don't have HIV AIDS. I, I got started on, 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 on opiates when I hurt my knee playing soccer. Uh, and I got started on a drug, is a, is a, a heroin-like, morphine-like drug called Dilaudid. It, it was like my knee wasn't that injured, but sure, the high was that good. And, uh, and that's where it all started, uh, like I say, a quarter of, almost a quarter of a century ago. Uh, part of the story of my life is, is when I came back to New York, I was uh, withdrawing from, 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 from an addiction of heroin and uh, cleaning up immediately and with very little money. And uh, I just had to work on my own priorities, which was getting clean. And a few years later, I was uh, able to get back into coaching. Opportunity uh, from the athletic director at the time uh, asked me, would I be interested in coaching? And I said, yes, 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 three times. And uh, uh, the job opened up. The year before I took over, they were 0, 12, and 3. And I took a program and immediately uh, was able to turn it around because the talent was in the school. And, and, and it kept me straight, and it continues to keep me straight, as well does my, 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 my higher power and my God. Uh, and now it's been 24 years later. Today, that it really impressed me that he um, recovered from that, and then he turned it to be a good thing in his life. And he helped kids that maybe go through that same situation, he helped them to, to change probably or to, you know, turn their life to be better. I mean, he's doing a great thing with them. I can't imagine a life without coaching eventually. I, I'm seeing it coming closer and closer. The main thing is, if my health can hold up, that's number one. Two, can I live without coaching? I don't know that answer yet. I'm not sure I can. Want to score a goal? Shoot it away! Shoot it away! Shoot it, shoot it! That's a beautiful shot! Yeah.